Howdy, Mo Dynamite here, and I'm going to show you the quickest way to max your dead eye. First, I'll show you where to collect the Valerian Root Tonics, as they increase your dead eye 25% towards the next level each time you drink one. But don't drink them as you find them. I'll explain why later in the video. So for now, here's the list of where to find them. Head to Larned Sod's house west of Emerald Ranch to find one on the mantelpiece. Be careful as if he spots you going into his abode, he'll try and kill you. And kill you dead. That's D-E-A-D, -E son. You can find one on the rooftop on the old Greenbank Mill, which is east of Flatneck Station. You'll see it sitting there on the window ledge, waving at you. The next one is in Limpatty, the home of the Infinite Gold Bars glitch. You can find the drink upstairs in the Burnt Out Saloon on the windowsill. Make your way to Dakota River. Head west from Caliban's seat where you'll find another Valerian root hiding under a big rock. Now go to the top of Caliban's seat. Look in the abandoned camp up there to find it next to the tent. Next, head to Emerald Ranch and climb the windmill tower. The drink will be at the very top next to a cigarette card. Two gifts for the price of one. You can find the next one in the dilapidated house next to Dewberry Creek. Go into the basement and open the wardrobe to find it inside. Head to Annisburg and go to the top of the coal mine and facility tower. You'll find it on the railing up there. Just be careful though as the workers will turn hostile on you when you go into this location. Might want to try and sneak in with your stealth abilities. You'll find another one north of Annisburg in a destroyed wooden structure next to the railroad track. It'll be inside the broken crate. Next, go into Beaver Hollow Cave. Now this is a gang hideout, so prepare for a shootout. But if you survive, head deep into the cave to find the Valerian root inside her chest in the westernmost chamber. This next one is west of St. Denis, in an abandoned factory. Jump up to the second floor where you'll find the concoction sitting on the window ledge. Head to the Shady Bell Mansion next. There'll be enemies and lots of them here, but once they're all dead, you can pick up the route from a crate on the mansion grounds next to the tiny bridge. Make your way to Mount Hagen in the Grizzlies West, to the hut up there. Inside you'll see the drink on a log in the middle of the room. South of the last one, you'll find a fortified O'Driscoll barn. Clear the camp up and head inside the barn to the top, where you'll find the potion on a blue barrel. Keep heading south to the west of the large lake. You'll see the next one at the altar of the strange pagan ritual out here. Next, go south of Rig Station. You'll find it on a crate right outside the destroyed shack just east of the water tower. Now this last one is only for the brave. Head into Blackwater. The drink will be at the foot of a large tree atop the small cliff overlooking Beecher's Hope. Just be right quick or you're gonna get killed. Now you have the locations of 17 of these Valerian root tonics. Once you drink them all, you'll jump up four and a bit levels in your dead eye. But the trick is to only start using them once your dead eye is already on level four. As it doesn't take much XP to level the first few levels, so it's easy enough to do by completing a few of the dead eye XP challenges. I'll show you which ones in a moment. Once you have done these challenges to get to level four, just drink all your Valerian Root Potions to jump up to level 8. The best challenges to do are the first six Bandit Challenges, 
We shall rob five townsfolk, rob two coaches, rob the cash register in any four shops in one day, rob three coaches in one day, amass a $250 bounty in one state, and steal five horses and sell them to the horse fence at Clemens Cove. They'll get you the 200 XP that you need to get a Dead Eye Level 4. The Selling the Five Horses challenge is only available once you have done the Horse Flesh for Dinner mission in Chapter 3. So if you don't have that unlocked yet, you can do a couple of the Gambler challenges, which reward Dead Eye XP too. They include win five hands of poker, double down in blackjack and win five times, win three games of finger fillet, and bust one poker opponent out at each of the three poker locations. You can gain two more ranks in Dead Eye to get to level 10, but you have to complete every challenge in the Explorer, Herbalist and Survivalist tiers, which will take you a while, but may be worth it. Remember to subscribe to me, Mo Dynamite, for more Red Dead 2, and check out my Evil Rage playthrough. See you later, y'all. Where am I going? Look the way you're going, horse! What are you doing? You stupid horse cunt! That wasn't robbery though, that was money that was owed! My hat!